when I look at other entrepreneurs and business owners and other people that are just like thriving in their life, I would always think to myself like, oh, they like got there so simply like they got there so easily and here i am right now like starting over again for like the millionth time welcome back to zero to ten thousand dollars the 25 part series in how to attract ten thousand dollars into your life today i just like i had to do this video i had to do it because yesterday we talked about consistency how to really show up for yourself every single day but as I was creating this series, I'm like, you know what? There are some people, and this was me also, multiple times throughout my journey where what happens when like life just hits you in the face? Like you feel like you're so out of it. Something happens that you can't control and you're just like, Ugh, this again? Now I got to start over from zero. Now, I'm going to get really raw, real, and just like to the point with this video because I kind of have this like running joke in my head, which now it's not really a joke, but it's more so really empowering because once again, I shifted my thoughts and beliefs and the thought patterns that I had in myself. Hashtag I do not just teach and preach, I actually embody. But I had this like running joke in my head that... I am probably the person that has started over the most ever in her life and in her business. Like when I look at other entrepreneurs and business owners and other people that are just like thriving in their life, I would always think to myself like, oh, they like got there so simply, like they got there so easily. And here I am right now, like starting over again for like the millionth time. And every single time I started over, I thought that to myself, I'm like, okay, like, here we go again. Like I'm not giving up and I'm not quitting because I'm just not in my body, but I am going to start over again and it's okay. And you might be the same way where like something happens, you're like, okay, I'm starting over again. But some part of you might feel like almost disempowered because you're like, why can't I just like stay fucking consistent? Why can't I just like keep going in the way that I want to like grow and scale? Now, here's what I did to really kind of like reframe my thoughts around if something does like happen to me that I can't control and maybe like a few days I just like am out of it when it comes to my business, my work, showing up for myself or something actually does happen where maybe I'm out for a few weeks or for like a few months. Here's what I always said to myself, even though I am quote unquote starting over, there is some power to that because every time i started over it's not like i was erasing all the progress that i had made up until the point where i either like stopped or i did just like start over again it was not gone i had already built up to that point and then i was doing it again or doing it better than what i did before and usually that's how it goes so in reality, every time I felt like I was starting over, trying something new or doing it again, I was not erasing anything. I was taking all of that progress along with me and doing it even better. And to me, I'm like, wait a minute. So all the times I started over, that was actually something that was really, really good because I progressed so much more than I did from the prior time that I started over. And imagine if... I never started over. Imagine if I just like quit and I went to go work a job or I just did something completely else that was not aligned with what I wanted to do in my passion. Like imagine that I would have a life that was just completely not me and I would be so unhappy because like in reality, even if we miss a day, a week, a month, anything, we are going to be so much closer to our desire than where we started because we have already made that progress. So in reality, we're never starting over from scratch or starting over from fresh or starting over from day one in a negative connotation because we're just starting over with all of the new knowledge and the progression that we have already made. And the thing is about this, you get to choose to reconnect with the highest version of yourself at any time of any day and also just know even if like you mess up you stop you start over anything that does not mean your highest version is going anymore anywhere and that also does not mean that your desire and your goal is not meant for you anymore like that is something that i feel like a lot of people really struggle with especially when it comes to building financial freedom and wealth and making their own money that like 
oh, just because like I, I messed up and I'm starting over and now I have to like recoup and recover everything that I already set up my for myself, you already set it up for yourself already, right? So you're basically just like picking it back up where you started and maybe you are trying something new and different. So this video, like I just really want you guys to understand that even when life hits you in the face, when you stop for a little bit, that does not mean that all of your progress is a race and that also does not mean it is going to take longer for you to get to your goals. Because I will tell you, there are sometimes be times where I take like more so of like a pause or a break or maybe I'm just like so frustrated with myself. I need to go take a nap or I'm like for that day, I'm like, okay, enough. I'm just gonna like wait till tomorrow and I'll do it then. And I honestly feel so much better and I do get so much more progress done and it's it's amazing. Like I get the results that I want so much faster because I am actually giving myself grace when I am starting over. And this is a part of the journey. Like. It really is. If you think about it, you can't control anything that happens in your life. You can control the way that you look at it and the lens that you're using and your perception on it. But it's like, we're humans. We have emotions. I get mad, sad, angry. I cry. Like all of the things in the book, like it happens to me too. So the entire point of like this first portion of this series is not for you to become this like unemotional person who only focuses on their goals just because you know that is just not real and that is not reality and I don't want you guys to think that is reality right but I'm also here to tell you that like every time you do like like, like start over or you have a little road bump that does not mean that you're like starting over from day one because you've already made so much progress and i believe there is so much power in that because remember too the highest version of himself or herself they would be aware of that if something happens and they got to pause for a day they're not thinking oh my gosh like my business is on fire and i gotta start over from day one that it was like years ago like no they are not thinking that they're just thinking okay this needs my attention right now and that is fine i will pause it i'll do what i need to do to feel better and then i'll restart and that'll be perfectly okay so that is what i really want you guys to like kind of just like understand and marinate on for today and for me like once again when i do come back and when i do like start over and i do start fresh or something does like hit me you know where it really hurts I will commit to myself to doing something that will get me from that state and feeling a little bit better, right? So this is where all of the non-negotiables that you wrote down for yourself and the routine really comes into play, right? If something's bothering me, I will not sit here and record more videos. If I'm like pushing through it, I'll go on a walk, I'll listen to music, I'll go sit on my couch and watch a movie or I'll go, you know, talk to one of my girlfriends. I will not sit here and continue to do something that is just not making me feel good so i want all of you guys to comment and let us know when life hits you in the face what are you going to do to start over what are you going to do maybe just like taking a nap that's your thing or maybe it's like coming back and rewatching one of these videos and like starting over doesn't also just mean like you know you have to do something that's like completely fresh Right, sometimes it is like you have to just like rewatch a video, or maybe sometimes it is you just need to talk to somebody. And this is why it's like my membership, Monetize Social Membership. This is one of the reasons why I created that community is because when you're around people who have the same vision as you, they want to make their own their own money. They want to have a thriving business that makes six figures, multi six figures, seven figures. They can come to that community. They can come on the weekly calls with me plug into my energy, ask me questions and get out of that state so much faster. So that is one of the reasons why I always encourage, like have support, have a community that you can always plug into. So that is all for today. I wanted this to be super simple, straightforward to the point because I know life happens and when it does, give yourself grace it is okay and it is okay to start over because there is so much power to that. Now I am so excited for day nine, which is tomorrow's video. It is a topic, which is one of my favorite topics to talk about. I can talk about it for hours and it is the topic around 
money, what it is, what it's not, and how to have such a solid relationship with money. So get ready. It is going to be such a good video. And once again, if you need to catch up with any of the previous videos, here is the playlist that you can click on and you can see all of the videos on the side and just go back and watch any of the ones that you missed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And until then, make sure that you stay unforgettable.